Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this very simple timetable in Word. So this is an educational timetable, which only covers five days of the week, but you can customize this to incorporate the weekend if you want to, and you can also adjust the timings along the top. So let's open a new document. And the first thing we're going to do is change the orientation of our page. So if you go to layout, go along to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. Now, as we said before, you can customize this, but as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So if we go back to the insert tab, go along to table, click on the drop down, and here all we need to do is click and drag down and you can see at the top those numbers changing so I've got to six rows now and along my columns I just keep dragging out to eight and there you have it we have eight by six and then just release your mouse and your table will be inserted if you don't have that facility go to table go down to insert table and then you can just input your values here. Number of columns will be eight, number of rows will be six, and then just click OK. So now we're just going to insert all of our text. So for example, we're gonna start here, go to Monday. And then across the top here, you can put all of your timings in. And we're just going to do hourly slots on the 24 hour clock. But obviously you can change this to suit your needs. So once you've put this information in, you can begin to customize your timetable or you can continue to put all the information in here. But sometimes it can be a little bit confusing to do it that way. And it's far better once the timetable is all laid out, then you can just input your subjects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this row along the top and I'm just going to make it a little bit taller. It's a little bit narrow at the moment. So I've selected that row. I'm going to go up to layout and along to this height icon here. Now you can use the up and down arrows, but I'm just going to select my value and just input one centimeter and press enter. And then you can see that our timings have nudged a little bit in terms of their alignment. If that happens, just highlight all of those timings, go up to your layout tab, and then go along to this section here. And this is where you align all of your text in your cells. So you can select from any of these, but I'm going to select align to center. That will just place all of my text in the center of my cell. With the rest of it, I'm going to select them all and then go back up to layout, along to height, and I'm going to input 2.5 centimeters and press enter. And then once again, I want all of my text in the center of my cells. So select it all just by clicking and dragging. Go up to layout, along to this section here again, and select align to center. Perfect. Now my table is not quite in the middle of my page, so I want to nudge it down a bit. So I'm going to place my cursor in the top left cell, just press enter, and then we can just move that timetable down, which will just give us a little bit more room for the title at the top. Now I'm going to insert a lunch hour in this column here. So all I'm going to do is hover my cursor over this line here, and I'm just going to pull it over to the right. Now, as you can see, that's made this cell a lot more narrow, so it takes up less space, but it's made this cell much wider, or this column. So if we want to make sure that all three columns here are of equal width, just select them all, go up to layout, go to this icon here that says distribute columns and click, and that will equally distribute your columns. You can do the same with here, but we haven't moved this line, so these should all be nicely in alignment. The next thing I'm going to do is just merge all of these cells here in this column, because this is going to be the lunch column here. So select them all, go up to layout, and go along to merge cells, and click on that, and it will merge all of those cells into one. Then I'm going to type lunch, now you can leave it this way if you want to, but if you want to turn the word round so that it's vertical, then all you need to do is select it, go up to layout and go to text direction, click, and then as you click, you can see how it turns that text round. So I'm happy with it that way round. 
then I'm going to go to home then I'm going to increase my font size by just clicking until I'm happy. Perfect. So now I'm just going to insert all of my subjects. Now if for example you have a subject which covers two time periods, let's say your maths lesson runs from 9 until 11, we're going to have to merge these two cells. So very simply as we did before, select those two cells, go up to layout and along to merge cells. And once again, let's say for example we had a Latin class, again click and drag across those two cells, go up to layout and along again to merge cells. So I'm just going to speed up the video while I input the rest of my subjects. Okay, so once you've finished all of that, we can go ahead and customize it. So don't forget, you can go ahead and select the entire table if you want to, go up to the Home tab, and then you can go to the fonts and you can select from any font you like. So you can really play around with lots of different fonts if you want to make it a little bit more fun and you want to increase your text size, then you can do so. I'm going to increase the size of my days and let's just increase, let's just take that to bold there so that just stands out a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is just use some shading to highlight the timings and the days. So select the row at the top, go to table design and along to this icon here that says shading. Click on the drop down and then you can select from any colour you like in here. So I'm just going to select dark grey and again I'm going to go down all of these days. Again table design, your shading's already been selected there so just click on it and then it will change it to grey. And we can also put some thicker borders around certain parts of the timetable as well. So if we select the table, you can do that by clicking on this square here or just click and drag across your entire table. Go up to table design and along to this section here. This section here deals with all of your borders. So all of these border lines can be adjusted and customized in this section here. You can change the color you can change the thickness, you can change the style and you can select which borders you want to apply those different designs to. So let's go to a normal border, let's increase the border thickness to two and a quarter and then because I've selected the whole table if I select outside borders it will put a thick border all the way around the outside of my timetable. In addition, if I select this row here, but not the end one here, because it's going to put a thicker line here, just select this bit here with the timings in. Go to borders. Now we've already selected the thickness here. Go to borders, and just I just want to apply it to the bottom border. So we've done that, and it's just applied it up to the corner here. And then likewise, if I click and drag down just where the text is, not applying to this top cell here, Go back up to borders and select right border, which is this border here because we've selected this column. And there you have those thicker border lines. And again, you can apply this to any of this. If you wanted to do it to the lunch one as well, you can do that. Or if there's something in particular you need to highlight, you can do it there as well. Now we can put a title at the top. We can either use the normal way, which is just type it in with the text. Or if you want to have a little bit more flexibility, if you go up to insert along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then as your cursor changes to across, just click your mouse and drag. Don't worry about where it is, just click and drag. Then you'll see there's a cursor flashing inside. If it's not, it's because you haven't selected your text box. So click once, you can see I've still got this cross, click again and your cursor will appear inside. Then just type your text and then we're going to customise this text. So I'm going to select it all, I'm going to go up to the Home tab, I'm going to change the font to Brasilia, I'm going to increase the size by using this Increase Font Size tool, 
Then I'm going to center it using this center text icon here. And then if I click away, you can see it's got this border line around it, which I don't personally want. In addition, if I move this, type, this text box, you can see it's got a white border behind it. Again, if I wanted to move it to about here, it's going to overlap my table. So I want to get rid of my background as well. So select your text box, go up to Shape Format, go to the Shape Outline and click on the drop down and select No Outline and that will get rid of that black border. Click on it again, go to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill, click on the drop down and select No Fill. Then when you move it, you can see it's got a completely transparent background and no border. Now to ensure this is perfectly lined up in the center of your page, if you select it, go to Shape Format, go along to the Alignment tool here, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And then your title will be perfectly lined up in the center of your page. And what this means is it just means that you can just move this around so that it suits you a little bit better than typing on a line and adjusting it with the return key which will then nudge all of the table down and then it'll put some on a new page and you'll get really annoyed with it so this is just a really easy way to customize that title. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has please subscribe and have a great day.